Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how our blueberry plants are doing and that back there is a quick sneak peek at what we've been working on the last few days. We have four varieties of southern high bush blueberries. These are also known as low chill varieties and they're good for our southern California climate and soil. We have warmer climate so these require uh, less chill hours than other varieties and then all, also our soil is very alkaline so these can tolerate a little bit more alkaline soil. So the first one we have is a sharp blue. The second one we have, this, this one's new to our garden. Um, this is a misty blueberry and this one is an O'Neill. Then the last one is one of my favorites and grows very easily in our uh, climate and soil condition. This is the sunshine blue and I think that's the best tasting I haven't tasted these I've tasted these before but I haven't really compared them so um, we're gonna do that this year so let's look at the differences if you're interested between the different types of varieties so we'll look at the foliage for the sharp blue it's got this really uh, interesting short and stout almost teardrop like leaves so very very uh, unique compared to the blueberry leaves that uh, we I'm typical typically seeing which is a little bit longer and narrower so here's here are the other ones and um, as far as how the plants look early in the season it looks like the sharp blue has more foliage and the one with the more sparse foliage is this O'Neill blueberry so that's how they look um, so don't think this is sickly if you're looking at different blueberry types to pick up and then the other thing is as far as color of foliage I think the misty blueberry has really nice foliage it's got this blush um, almost like a purple blush on it so it's really pretty and let's look at the um, berry sizes and how they're they're doing as of uh, what is this say second day of spring so the the O'Neill I think I think the O'Neill is the one that has the larger berries I can't yeah this is um, this is one with the larger berries and right off the, the berries are pretty big so um, keep in mind the my hand for reference there so that's how that's the size of the O'Neill currently and the sharp blue it produces a lot of berries and they're a lot smaller but there's a lot more berries on the plant over here we have our misty which is somewhere between the O'Neill and our sunshine blue in terms of size and quantity and then lastly we have our sharp blue and it's producing quite a few as well um, I think that's all I can think of at the moment about the differences between the blueberries we'll watch them grow some more the other I guess one last thing I thought of the sunshine blue has these really pretty pink blossoms so they start out pink and when they're when they're ready to to be pollinated they get a little bit more white you can see a couple of blossoms there whereas the other ones have um, white blossoms so yeah they they they're pretty fast growing they do best in containers I've been unsuccessful with getting them uh, uh, with planting them in the ground so we're gonna put them in containers for a little bit and here is another sunshine blue blueberry um, that was picked up yesterday this was picked up for about seven dollars and I think it's a really good value so if you find a blueberry like this um, it's and you're thinking it's small these things grow pretty quickly by this time next year it will have tripled in, in size so um, yeah, if you're on a budget, you can start small and you'll have blueberries like these plants in, in no time. 
All right, that's going to be it for today. We're going to get back to working in our garden to get more planting space for all the plants that we've started. And um, we're expecting some rain, so we'll get to work before that comes today. Okay, that'll be it today. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.